Hi, I'm Catherine Trebek and I'm the lead author on the report commissioned by Katanak, Carnegie and Children in Scotland called Being Bold, Building Budgets for Children's Wellbeing. The first lesson that emerged from the research behind this report is that if we are really truly serious about children's wellbeing and their rights, it is not good enough just to look at children in isolation. We need to ask, how are their families faring? What sort of jobs are their parents and carers able to get? How functional is the local community? Is there good quality green space outside? What about nature of inequality, racism, the patriarchy? All those questions add up as a suite of forces that affect children's wellbeing. And if the budget is going to be a mechanism that's going to transform some of those questions, that's really going to bring about the shifts we need in creating a context in which children can flourish in Scotland, then we need to think about a few key fundamentals. One is that the budget needs to be holistic and human. It needs to be outcomes orientated. It absolutely needs to be rights-based. The budget also needs to be long-term and upstream. It needs to be preventative. It needs to be precautionary. And finally, a bold budget for children's wellbeing needs to be participatory. Children's voices in all their diversity need to be at the heart of setting the budget agenda. Scotland is part of a group of trailblazing nations and we can learn from the international experience. In New Zealand, wellbeing evidence allows the government to direct resources to where outcomes are below targets. The Child Poverty Reduction Act requires that the budget includes a report on child poverty. Closer to home in Wales, the Future Generations Commissioner is tasked with scrutinising draft budgets according to how they advance wellbeing and the extent to which different public bodies reach their wellbeing objectives. So what can we learn? Five thoughts. It is necessary to set out a high level mission or vision, enshrining these, as well as reporting schedules, delivery mechanisms, and plans for reviews and updates in legislation, so they're hardwired into government processes. Countries need to acknowledge that the economy is in service of wellbeing goals, not a goal in and of itself. Meaningful public involvement is key. Ministerial responsibility and accountability for wellbeing outcomes drive progress and cross-departmental work is essential. What a great year ahead we have in 2021 with the forthcoming incorporation of the Convention for the Rights of the Child into Scottish law. But of course we need much more than legislation to make sure that we are respectful of children's rights and are ambitious for their long-term futures and well-being. We need to make sure that our economy and the way in which we budget and prioritise our funding and finances within Scotland is absolutely geared towards ensuring the long-term well-being of children and their families. We need an economy that's geared towards the long-term carbon economy that we must have if our planet is to survive. We must have an economy that invests in safe communities, in, in excellent standard housing and of course is absolutely focused on eradicating child poverty. Now is the time for us to reset our economy and the way in which we prioritise our budgets. Catherine Trebek's work gives us a real, real manifesto for how we will achieve and secure children's rights and well-being. Scotland is a great place to grow up but we also know that we have to do better. It's been 14 years now since the Scottish Government set out in its National Performance Framework the outcomes that it wants for all people, including children and young people. And it's been 10 years since Campbell Christie set out his analysis on what needs to change in public services towards more joined up, preventative provision. And so our analysis is that we have something of an implementation deficit disorder. We know the direction that we want to go, but we find it difficult to make that change happen. And this project has focused on one lever of change, the finance system, the way that we think about money in Scotland, the way that we think about spend. What is cost benefit analysis? What is value for money when we're talking about our children's lives? We know it's not a silver bullet, but we do think it's important to consider how we spend that money if we're going to begin improving outcomes for children and putting our money where our mouth is when it comes to children's well-being. <laughs>